My name is Jenna Hatfield, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about obesity in the United States versus Japan. So starting off, what is obesity? The definition of obesity is having too much body fat, but the main problem with obesity are the complications that can result from the disease. These complications include bone problems, cardiovascular problems, high cholesterol, and an increased risk of cancer. Also, psychological problems can result from the disease, like low self-esteem and depression. Obesity is a major public health problem in the United States. When you think about it, almost every American is impacted by it, whether they suffer from the disease themselves or have family or friends who do. The U.S. is one of the most obese countries in the world, with one-third, or 79 million people, currently living with the disease. It is now considered an epidemic because the number of obese individuals in the United States has increased so dramatically. A considerable problem with the American diet is the quantity of processed food we consume. Today, 70% of the food Americans eat is processed. By definition, processed food is designed for convenience, not health. Many have added chemical preservatives designed to increase shelf life. Many of these preservatives have been tested and shown evidence of contributing to problems like cancer. One additive that has recently gained negative publicity as a major contributor to obesity is sugar. Sugar can be found in a multitude of food products, even those labeled healthy or all natural. Sugar itself is not really the problem. It is the amount of the substance we put into our bodies every day. In 2012, Americans consumed about 130 pounds of sugar per year. A major source of sugar in the American diet is through soft drinks that are loaded with high fructose corn syrup. An average American drinks 60 gallons of soda a year. As a country, we drink 13 billion gallons of soda per year. Statistics show a connection between this increased ingestion of high fructose corn syrup and rising rates of obesity. The proliferation of fast food poses another problem in our obesity epidemic. About a quarter of the American population eats at a fast food restaurant every day. The majority of foods served at these establishments are very caloric and not at all healthy. Another major issue that contributes to the obesity epidemic is portion sizes. We love to eat in America, but we've especially piled on the calories in the past decade. Compare portion sizes in 1960 versus today. Now I'm going to be discussing eating habits in Japan, as well as obesity's more minimal effect on the country. While the United States has an obesity rate of over 30%, the percentage of the Japanese population that is obese is less than 5%. The main reason why many Japanese are able to keep their waistline slim are their eating habits. The traditional Japanese diet emphasizes a lot of fresh fish and vegetables. Along with this, the Japanese are known for their smaller portions. Sugar plays a much smaller role in the Japanese diet versus the American diet. An average Japanese person consumes less than half of the amount of sugar an average American takes in. While a Japanese person takes in 40 pounds of sugar a year, an American takes in 130 pounds of sugar a year. In terms of soft drink consumption, an average Japanese person consumes approximately 6 gallons per year an average American drinks 60 gallons. This means an American drinks 10 times more soda than a Japanese person. Although the obesity rate in Japan is much lower than the United States, the number of obese individuals in Japan has increased, just like many of the other developed countries. One reason for this increase is the proliferation of fast food restaurants in the country. Unlike their antecedents, the young Japanese generation has a liking for westernization and the food that it brings. The pie chart shown demonstrates the components of the standard American diet. As shown, processed food makes up the majority. 
Vegetables, fruit, nuts, and beans, as well as whole grains, are all very important food groups, yet they only make up 15% of the standard American diet. And here's another statistic. Less than 26% of American adults eat three or more vegetables daily. This unbalanced lifestyle is a prime example of why obesity is such a large-scale issue in the United States. In comparison, here's a food pyramid demonstrating a typical Japanese diet. It promotes a wide variety of different foods. However, it especially emphasizes whole grains, vegetables, legumes, seeds, nuts, and fruits. In the next few seconds, four different families will be shown, two from Japan and two from the United States. Note the similarities and differences between the families and their diets. Obesity is a problem we need to take head on. The statistics relating to obesity's projection do not look good. By 2030, it is predicted that half of all Americans will be obese. Eating habits must be reassessed or the health of Americans will only keep declining. We need to take major steps to prevent obesity. Rethinking current dietary habits is necessary to fixing the obesity problem. Here's an example. If as a nation we consumed merely one more serving of vegetables or fruit a day, we would save $5 billion a year on health care. Observing and studying the traditional Japanese diet can help us get to the solution. As a society, we need to think about the food choices we make from day to day. Eating a fresher, more balanced diet like the Japanese can help reduce the amount of obesity we see in the United States today.